Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Grace and I'm currently a second year med student. So today I'll be sharing a video with you that's actually from three years ago, my MCAT reaction score. I filmed it back then, but I hesitated to edit and upload it initially. I decided to finally share this video with you guys for a few reasons. One, I finally have time in my schedule now and create more content for you guys. Second, I wanted to share my personal experience even though it might not align with what you typically see on YouTube of people you know, freaking out, being super excited and happy about their score or like being super sad. I'm just like there in the middle. So it's not like the typical kind of reaction video that you see, but I wanted to share my personal experience. It's time to check on my MCAT score. I'm so scared. Oh my god, I feel so nervous. Yesterday I was checking on AMC to see if they, by any chance, uploaded the score early. Of course they didn't, but uh, I had a small twinge of nerves, so not small twinge, but I have my laptop, or not laptop, um, iPad here, so I'm going to call Javi and FaceTime him. I'm so nervous. All morning. It was a pretty crazy morning too at work. Um, probably one of the craziest I've had in a long time. Just could feel anxiety, but I'm glad it was so busy that I can think about it. <laughs> it's posted! Okay, so I'm gonna open it. I'm scared. So no, excited. no, don't. No excitement, no hopes or dreams. Nothing. Oh my god, my phone is acting up. I'm scared, Hav. Do you want to say hi? Javi is supporting me here. Javi, say hi. <laughs> oh my god, view your most view score. I'm scared. I think it's going to be. Oh shit. I did okay. Got 518. Woo! Yay! 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 So I did okay. You broke your heart. What do you mean? <laughs> well, yeah, 96th percentile, not bad. Oh my god, wait, I just realized I got a 132 on psych, sosh. Oh my god, I just realized that. Wow. So what brought me down was the chem phys section, which I knew. That was a 128, so that was pretty low, 85th percentile. 128 for cars, 130 for bio, so basically I got the same as my full length four. I'm a little sad, I feel like if only, if only Kempis went well, if only, if it went like, if I got two points higher I could have gotten 520. I feel like you're not interested anymore now that you know I'm okay. You did so good. But I'm not complaining, complaining, but I'm not sad either, I just feel like, no, mediocre. You're done. I'm done! I'm done though! I'm not gonna retake it! You did really, really good. You did better than everyone else who took it their first time. Anyways, you wanna say goodbye? Bye! I love you. Bye! Thank you! There's been some time since this actually happened, so I feel very like distanced from this point that I was in during the actual moment that you see in the video. I was in a really bad headspace during my MCAT prep. I had graduated college with a low GPA and I put this huge pressure on myself to excel on the MCAT to compensate and I put this big stress on myself and I would take practice tests after practice tests and not get the result I wanted to see. That made me feel stuck. I felt like I was in a rut. In hindsight, I see that I put this excessively high bar on myself. You know, I was just creating this unhealthy mindset. In retrospect, this only added to the stress instead of really being a motivator. Looking back, I'm really grateful for my MCAT experience and how it shaped me. Despite the challenges, I achieved my goal of getting into med school. Like that's the whole reason why we take this exam in the first place. It's purely just to help us get into med school because it's one factor. And you know, our med school apps is more than just your MCAT scores. There are so many different elements in it. So that's just something that got to 
put into perspective when we think about this. So once you start med school, that score just becomes so much less significant. Like we don't even talk about it now that we're in med school. Like it is just a minuscule detail. Now all of our focus is just on steps. So um, once you're in med school, like once you're over that hurt hurdle, that MCAT is just one small, small piece. So I hope that sharing this very real reaction video helps some of you. It might not be the most joyful or the saddest one out there. It's just kind of there, right in the middle. But just wanted to share my own personal experience. And I hope this helps some of you guys who may have, you know, reacted a similar way. So if you're interested in more content, whether it's related to MCAT prep, uh, med school, or just life, please let me know. Leave your suggestions in the comments below. And thanks so much for watching. Bye for now.